All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to be showing you the easy way to install a more complete world map, 8K and 4K edition for Oblivion Remastered, which is just a nice way of saying it turns your bland, kind of just gray, black and white, well, black and tan uh, map into a lavishly illustrated uh, colored version that can go up to 8K in quality so it's not fuzzy on your big fancy uh, monitor or TV or wherever you're playing this. So the simple answer is you can install this with Vortex and it's super easy. You literally just click one button. If you're not familiar with Vortex, Vortex is Nexus Mods uh, mod manager system where you can download for free and then all you have to do is log in with your username in order to set the whole thing up. So once you've got Vortex downloaded and installed, you'll be greeted with a screen that looks a lot like this. And what you have to do is in the upper right corner, make sure you log into your profile. I'm logged in as Larry Chupacabra right now. And then we need to go to games because we're gonna be doing Oblivion and we need to find Oblivion and tell Vortex to manage that game. So I'm just gonna type in Oblivion and then here it is, Oblivion Remastered. I also have regular Oblivion somewhere on the system. And then you can just type, or you can just click the manage button and it will then download and install whatever extension it needs in order to talk to and control stuff for Oblivion Remastered. From here, we're gonna go back to this A More Complete World Map page and we need to go to files to download it. I should also mention for those who are curious, if you don't wanna use a mod manager, you can only just download and plunk some files into a specific folder as listed down here in the instructions, but it looks like they mostly just want you to use the mod manager because it's easier. So underneath the files, you have some options here. You have the first option, which is a more complete world map 4K version, all in one edition. And then down here you have the 8K version, which is an all in one. And then down here is miscellaneous. You can download the individual file versions so that you don't have to download quite so much stuff. Because when you download these, they give you options of which ones that you want. I don't have an 8K monitor, so I'm not gonna download the 8K version. But if you do, feel free to download this one. Just say download mod manager version. So I'm gonna download the 4K version here. I'm gonna click the mod manager download. I'm gonna click slow download because that's the free one. And then I'm gonna tell it to open Vortex, which is what's going to manage that. So here on the left-hand sidebar, it's gonna tell me that it's currently downloading 163 megabytes worth of stuff, which isn't that much. Uh, it'll also tell you a running history of all the stuff that you've downloaded for extensions for this, like No Man's Sky or Kingdom Come or Baldur's Gate or Oblivion Remastered Vortex support, which I just downloaded. And once this is done, it'll automatically install this to my mod section. You see here in the sidebar, there's a new little subsection called Oblivion Remastered. It'll do this for every one of the mods that you have it managing. So it'll appear here automatically once it's done downloading. Alternatively, if you've manually downloaded this, but you've changed your mind and you want to use Vortex, you can just drag and drop the zip file down here into the drop files location at the bottom of the page, and it'll grab it and it'll start to manage it for you. It'll even know where it is on Nexus mods so that if you need to update it later, it'll be able to do that automatically, which is very handy. So now that this is just about done, it's going to install it down here. And as a part of the installation process, it's going to ask me what I'm using to manage this installation. So I'm using Vortex, I'm gonna select Vortex. And then I'm gonna click the little button here at the right called Cyrodiil Map. So it's gonna ask me which version of the Cyrodiil Map that I want. And because this is the all-in-one, it'll allow me to pick by just hovering over the different options which one I feel like best fits my needs. So if I want, I can do the color version, the monochrome, the color alternate version, desaturated, desaturated alternate version, or the monochrome alternate version. I want the color. I can also say I just want the Shivering Isles map to be colored and just click the bottom one. That's also an option. And then it'll ask me which version in a very similar layout that I want for the Shivering Isles and I'm gonna go with the color version as well. And then for the local map, I have the option 
of having like a background that's light or dark variant, I'm going to go with the light variant and click finish. And that's it. You're installed and you're ready to go. Now, if for whatever reason you want to disable this mod, maybe you're trying to troubleshoot that something else is breaking the game or causing it to crash. This will work with any mod. You can enable and disable them with this little pull down on the right hand side. You can tell it to be disabled so it's not currently active. You can re-enable it. So it's got the same settings, but now it's functioning. Or you can remove it by clicking on the remove button on the right hand side, which also has some other options like checking for update, completely deleting everything related to it, open it in the file manager, all that good stuff. But just to show you that it's working, I'm going to go ahead and boot Oblivion Remastered. So here we are inside of Oblivion Remastered, and if I hit the M key to bring up the map, Boom, there you see our lavish 4K uh, colorized and detailed map of the entire area from the Imperial City down towards Black Marsh and elsewhere. All of these fancy details are ours for the taking. And if we were to go to the Shivering Isles through the portal in the uh, little lake area, I think it was one of these down here we would be able to see the fancy Shivering Isles map as well. And that's it. That's all you got to do to install that. It's really easy. So I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.